Hey guys. hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're right now in Malacca. We'll be here for a night and we're staying at the Pines Malacca. Let's go! Let's go! Oh, look at the cruise! That's the Malacca River Cruise! The hotel comes with ample parking, which is perfect since we were driving. Plus, the parking is free for hotel guests. Once we've parked our car, we then headed to the lobby to check in. It is the weekend, there is quite a lot of people, but I think the check-in is pretty quick. So we have done our check-in, we're gonna go check out the room. Just settle down. I'm gonna show you guys around the room. So we've booked the Premier King room and I've actually requested for a higher floor and actually gave us like the highest floor. <laughs> yeah, we are at the 28th floor. So let me show you around. This room is a very cute size. It's 31 square meter. Once we enter in, you can see the bed just right in front here. From here, you get to have a view of Malacca. Let me show you. River Cruise. From our room, we can see the Malacca River. You can even see up to the sea. You can even see the sea. There's something wrong. And from the far edge, you can even see the Straits of Malacca. So cool. So the room comes with a TV as well, right in front of the bed. There's even a kitchenette there. It comes with a sink, a kettle, the usual stuff. Mini bar. Yeah, I think it's like that. And next to it, there is a small little closet and a sink box. Now let's check out the bathroom. Ta -da! It has a bathtub. One of the reasons why we've booked this room is because it comes with a bathtub with a very nice view of Malacca. I feel like the bathroom is actually as big as the bedroom. Just slightly smaller, but it's very spacious. Oh wait, there's a shower area too. So this entire space is actually the shower room. Yeah, there's a shower on top, which I didn't notice. There's a big mirror here, a sink, some toiletries. And here is the toilet bowl. There's even a laundry basket. And my favorite place, the bathtub. It looks like a bowl, and I'm gonna sit in that bowl. <laughs> Alright, now that we're done with our room review, we're going to go head out and have some satay chill. Once we're back, we're going to show you guys the pool area. After our meal, we didn't go back to the hotel as promised. Instead, we visited Jonka Street Night Market, which is available only on the weekends. And we didn't want to miss out on it. guys, it is day 2 here in Malacca. We're gonna go check out the pool and after that we're gonna have breakfast. Let's go! <laughs> it's swimming time. Hello. Good morning. <laughs> the pool area is at the 7th floor but we have to come down from the 8th floor. By the way, the swimming pool here is a saltwater swimming pool. I like the <laughs> funny, quirky quotes that they have over here. It's 8.30 right now and the pool is freezing cold. 
Well, it's not too bad, but it's cold. Oh, they even have like a room that's connected to the pool. Not directly connected to the main pool though, so they have their own mini private long pool. At the same floor, there is a kids' pool, and next to it is a mini playground area. Now time for some relaxation therapy before breakfast. Guys, it's time to go for breakfast. Breakfast will be on the ground floor. So it's 9.45 right now and we are here to get our breakfast. I think usually on normal days they will serve the buffet breakfast but for this time, they have the option of having the a la carte meals, set meals choose three options during the check-in and you get to choose whether you want to dine in at the restaurant or pick up your food from the restaurant and eat it in your room. So our food's here and it looks pretty good. What do you have? I had American breakfast and Sue had the nasi lemak. Let me show you. Look at that. The blue rice and all. And it's still steaming hot. <laughs> okay, that's it. Overall, we really enjoyed our stay here at the Pines Malacca. It is definitely very worth getting the room with the bathtub, especially with that view overlooking the Malacca city. Location-wise, it's not really smack in the middle of all the tourist attractions, but it's also not too far away. It's about a five minutes drive. And that's not so bad because it really does get congested, especially during the weekends or public holidays. So that's all for this time. We'll leave more information in the description below so you guys can go check it out. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to us to see more of our travel and food videos. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!